sorry. Now, now you can start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah, just. In <laughs> okay. Without introduction, we uh, we were talking about uh, about uh, science spacing models, the size and loading time, and uh, some let's say uh, efficiency issues around. It. Yeah. So so basically, uh, we are trying to get uh, V nineteen and V twenty six. I already tried that. Uh, to get all, all uh, entities uh, extracted in the uh, NLP pipeline in the spacey, sky spacey. And uh, the problem now, because only to load uh, all models, it will take two, three minutes, uh, dependent from configuration of uh, virtual machine. So uh, I'm trying to figure out what, what is like uh, efficient configuration, how actually uh, to, to uh, load all these models Probably there is some some possibility to get it directly from memory, or some daemon should be developed. Uh, so all other processes will just connect to the same daemon and uh, they'll do uh, entity recognition. So uh, we need to actually to debug this and uh, to find some solution because it's too slow at the moment. And my idea was to just to get everything in one pipeline with the RESTful API. So you're sending full text of paper and you should get immediately all entities with uh, ideas from some ontologies and currently it's not possible because you have to wait and of course Apache will not wait for three minutes. Yeah. Extend yeah. up the timeout I think for one minute and after it will just show an uh, error message. So yeah, it's unacceptable and uh, we need to find some some way to speed it up. Uh, the pro I mean, it's not problem, and the cost probably is that you have, uh, like, in science spaces, those models are so called lightweight. I mean, like, it's not full scale, like BERT model, something like that. Mm -hmm. But still, it's a neural network. And for each, uh, I don't know, it was it's word base or some uh, character base uh, model, but still, they need to compute every, like, if you have a longer text like 10 pages like in a scientific paper uh, mm -hmm. they need uh, they are computing word by word uh all levels so it's um, a couple of models it's like model for lemmas model for uh entity recognition model mm -hmm. for part of speech tags model blah, blah. and you have a couple of more of ent entity recognition models actually in our pipeline it means that is a couple of at least a couple of models running in parallel of course, mm -hmm. in SciPy, in, not SciPy, uh, in uh, Cyton, et cetera, et cetera. So in this regard, it's probably uh, highly optimal, optimalized. Mm -hmm. But still, it's uh, it's a lot. I mean, like for if you have fifty thousand papers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And actually, uh, to uh, I experimented already with it. To split it into uh, into th like you have multi-processing and then you can have also multi-threading, it doesn't mm -hmm. work because actually uh, the memory blows up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's like uh, because it's getting I think child is this the same uh, memory usage. Yeah. So everything is just just in in uh, so all models actually in, in the same process. Yeah. Is what I think. So if you'll create like. 10 different processes, everything will, will contain the same uh, uh, models. So like 12 gigabytes yeah. in RAM and uh, of course it will crash because it's not optimal. Well, it's, it's typical for Python. Everything that is you parallelize in Python, usually it does it like a naive thing mm -hmm. and everything is just like copies itself. Yeah, yeah. So it really it basically, child contains uh, everything from uh, parent process. So, yeah. And it, and if you in Python notebook, notebook is also usually has all of this like magic functions on top. Mm -hmm. that usually like you know trace <clears throat> yeah. the execution of different things, and again copies everything more and more. So that could be also another like compound uh, that's uh, I, I i started already talking about uh, like mentioning things that maybe for some future like not future like for next year but next week something like that we can consider that if you have if we, if we have our science space pipeline 
we want to have as a, a kind of a standard annotator for all data sets, text data sets we have, and those things that come from um, science space in terms of UMLS, lemmas mostly and those different ontologies that is like standard package for us maybe we should consider like to switch from like to think about how we can uh, optimize or uh, like to to switch the platform uh, like to do those things but in a high in highly optimized way maybe not in python but in, in di on different platform so that it is easier to deploy those things, it's faster because, uh, of course, the, the, like the models it's, uh, uh, themselves are written in Cyton, I think, so they are fast. But the way we are using them, loading all of them, and uh, in one process, I, I, I'm not expert on that. Just it's my question whether it would be possible to uh, to do some work around optimization of that process. Well, what I'm doing now, uh, I, I've created a process that does download of all models and uh, all um, extra stuff that come in with uh, Spacey. And uh, I'm placing everything in, in separate folder. And this folder uh, I'm mounting on, on basically a disk created from RAM. So it's, it's quite fast that you can load. Fn, but but it doesn't help after will you you are doing the recognition yeah by processing yes, so yeah. yeah so i need to figure out uh, how to speed up processes uh, in yeah. if everything is running in parallel uh yeah it's like uh because even if it's, it's some neural network model then you can think okay maybe you can do some I I presume space or science space does a kind of batching uh, on lower level that they don't process word by word, but if you have the whole sentence, they split that into some chunks. Uh, to, to you know, you, you know, in the process of Brandon, uh, there is a split of uh, by sentences, so it does recognition by sentence, and. Probably we can try actually to put uh, full text in 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 actually in in this uh, uh, process. Yeah, but I am putting the full text. I mean, like on the it's not not, not full. No, text. no, no. I think you are putting by sentence sentences. No, no, no. It's I, yeah. I'm putting this paragraph by paragraph to be exact. Yeah, yeah, paragraph. But but what I mean actually, if you uh, just compile everything, assemble uh, everything in one one full text, so. Uh, uh, complete full text of paper will become input for uh, Sky Spacey. Probably we can get a better um, performance. Uh, uh, okay, then there's a problem. Then we need to play around with paragraphs because then uh, Science Spacey cannot recognize a paragraph itself. So yes, the, the, I know, I know. So, so uh, we need to reconstruct like original structure after we'll get yeah. a list of and uh, I understand that. Yeah, that, that's the first thing. The second thing that I, I'm afraid that even if it's a, we put the whole text, it mm -hmm. will be processed in a linear way. It's not, I mean, that's why it was my hope that I need to read some documentation on that. Whether mm -hmm. you have a, a like batching of input in a science space. So if you have 100 uh, sentences, maybe two sentences next, to, uh, one after another, they are related to each other, but mm -hmm. the last sentence and the first sentence are not related to each other. Mm -hmm. So they can be uh, like um, processed in parallel because the output of the processing doesn't influence the output of those for those uh, two uh, sentences. Mm -hmm. But but also also uh, what I think uh, can be useful if we we'll split uh, processes by models, because okay. I have impression that now it just does uh, well every model in a cycle, right? So <laughs> the same sentence goes to different models, and probably we can skip some models. And uh, we, we can try to, to see what what we actually need, right? UMLS and uh, yeah, and those four or five. Uh, I, I I'm not specter or 
I'm not specialist on those ontologies, so I have no idea which of them are really useful. Yeah, and, uh, but, but for, for now, uh, what Brandon did, he just found all these trained models and uh, uh, in, in one cycle, he's basically like trying one by one. So the same sentence goes to like yeah. every model and uh, this is why it's so slow. So if we, we can uh, we can be more creative, let's say, and yeah. we can try to like to uh, create parallel um, processes for different models, uh, right? That's maybe, yeah, I mean like... Yeah. Uh, so uh, probably it can scale up. I don't yeah. know, uh, I need to try. Yeah, I need to read also, but because probably we are also not the first people in the universe working on some optimization for multiprocessing for... Yes, training. true, but, but, but usually because it's... Uh, for, for now, it's really experimental stuff. It's uh, I don't think that people just try and to run it in production, like we want to build a service. Uh, At least, uh, I, I, I found a lot of uh, uh, like articles and papers, but uh, there is no indication that there, there, uh, uh, there is kind of uh, um, service that is in production and you can just send some text and you can get back uh, uh, entities. At least it's not publicly available. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Maybe a big company can have some, such a thing. Yeah, but but, but big yeah. company, small company uh, doesn't matter because it's just open source. So they can probably have more resources, uh, more CPUs and uh, RAM, but but still they're facing exactly the same problems. Yeah. Right. Be because it's just uh, it's it's really experimental. It's not something established, and obviously there is no optimization yeah. in this process. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm trying, I, I'm going to try to like to take care of it. I mean, like after mm -hmm. I run finally uh, this V19, V26 or something, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully this week, I mean, like today, maybe I, uh, tonight, mm -hmm. I will try to, to, to run it. And after that, uh, we can take care of, uh, let's like to play around, to look for some optimization, mm -hmm. Uh, maybe there are some. Maybe, maybe we don't need all. Like I need to read uh, thoroughly the documentation of Spacey itself to find how those models are built. Like because they're building blocks, I presume. So mm -hmm. some of the building blocks are mm, not required for our uh, purposes. So mm -hmm. maybe okay. yeah. uh, like part of speech tags we don't use them. However, I think you need part of speech tags for other types of uh, like for ontologies maybe or i'm not yeah. sure and i would say we, we really need to speed up because uh, now our dataverse contains uh, almost 150,000 uh, files which is <laughs> unbelievable already and uh, yeah just, just think about that 150,000 files uh, related to covid-19 and do you have already some guys working on those classifications? Yeah, but but, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not finished yet. So I, I'm I just stuck because I also have my my like, like regular work. So uh, I promise that I will put on on call up uh, probably today or tomorrow, but still it's not finished. So I have to uh, finish like 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 uh, last things, and after I will publish. Yeah. But uh, uh, it will not help if a uh, pipeline will not work fast also. Yeah, I mean, like, that's if, because even for this court 19, it's uh, like some hours to get. Yeah, but, but, but look, uh, now we have exactly the same amount, like court 19, so we have data sets. <laughs> Yeah. 150,000. That, that's, that's why I'm saying uh, CORT 19 V19 is like not even 60,000 papers and yeah. not all of them are full papers yeah. and you are talking about 150,000 uh, yeah. entities like documents or data or data set. What do you mean it's with a, uh, Files. Files, okay. Yes. So uh, every it, file contains some, some variables and uh, some uh, information. Yeah. So uh, every file will become input for <laughs> this pipeline to get something uh, recognized, yeah. some entities. 
The good thing that uh, our data management team, uh, they're approaching people and sometimes people just saying, well, I just copied this uh, data from somewhere, so you, you actually, you, you can delete it um, because it's duplicated. But there are not so many cases like that. So, and also I really want to do it automatically. I, I just need to understand, um, yeah, sometimes people just fork in repository uh, this data and uh, it's basically the same data, right? Uh, so we just ah, okay. uh, overlapping, yeah, 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 overlapping. So probably from 150,000, we can just remove probably 50 percent. I don't know exactly, but uh, we really need to do this uh, work to do analysis, yeah. And it's, I mean, like, the, it would be cool, for instance, to uh, like future for this for future. <clears throat> When we have uh, those uh, word embeddings, so mm -hmm. the, the the description of the files, like the name of the columns or variables, it's all yeah. words. So we can uh, lem not lemmatize that we can uh, make those uh, word embeddings for the, of them and do the, a very similar thing like uh, this um, Allen Institute did with those um, uh, citation embeddings, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you can find the like relationships between different uh, uh, variables, but not uh, just as things. No, but, but but we already have relationship. It's uh, it's basically if you'll open any data set uh, and we'll go to files, we have labels assigned to every file. So basically we know that uh, somehow these variables already uh, linked. So we have this information. What we can do, uh, to make it this process kind of uh, uh, process of computation started, we can actually do a frequency uh, analysis. So we can recognize, and yeah, probably it, it it can be not bad idea because people usually using the same variables like confirmed cases or like cases yeah. in hospital, and you know. Yeah, so, but the problem. The so, problem is that yeah. the, those names can vary. I mean, like they mean. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, and also disambiguation. That uh, actually, yeah. uh, for example, in data set, you can think that it's the same variable, but like methodology can be different for different countries. How they're taking measurements? Sometimes they're just showing how many people uh, called uh, doctor as you know infected. Uh, they think that they are infected by COVID-19, but you know, there is no confirmation. Yeah. So, um, but it's reflected in official statistics. So it's really different from, from country to country. And uh, this is also the problem that humans should, should actually do evaluation of uh, all these variables. But at least, at least we can uh, try to link everything from different sources and to see if we can do some some kind of analysis and yeah, I, I would say a probably good exercise will be just to get uh, all available uh, labels uh, all, all available variables in like in one list and just to see how many we can get uh, uh, how much we can get from uh, all files Okay, as a, like uh, the 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 like most index. common, yeah, the most common yeah. denom denominator. Yes, yeah. or something like that. So probably if we'll get like I don't know five thousand, so it's doable for human just just basically to link to some uh, ontology. Yeah. Of, well, we we have five people in data management team, so probably we we can just uh, well, it's yeah. doable. But yeah, it's quite ambitious work, I would say already. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, yeah. I mean, like because even you know, the, okay, that's something that I need to also think about, like because you you have different like different variable like the same variables coming from different documents can yeah. can be actually different, be different. So yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah. also the, just don't forget that uh, for some. Uh, countries so it's like the same uh, mm, variables can be reported by different authorities so like in spain uh, i saw cases that um, like uh, ministry of health they reported one number but uh, they have also a uh, community 
statistics. And uh, they are reporting completely different numbers because uh, it's uh, kind of on lower level. Yeah. So, and also sometimes uh, they're forgetting to send things in time. So it's coming like next day. So you can see in statistics somehow it's growing like in two times, but, but in reality it's uh, it just uh, related to previous day <laughs> because they forgot to send uh, these numbers. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's it's really you know a problem with data quality and it's unsolvable i would say and the question is how much can you uh, like can you understand or can you discover without contextual knowledge that for instance okay those data are different because they are coming from different levels of yeah. uh, government for instance yeah. or they are different because the methodology of counting of of whatever they counting is different so yes, uh, exactly. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the, the question is, is this knowledge how somehow embedded in those files in terms of there's some commenter? No, no, usually not. Okay. They're just basically people just scraping data from somewhere and uh, sometimes there is some, some providence information from where it's coming, but in most of cases it's just like file with some data and uh, you can actually think that this is about these variables but in reality it can be about something different so yeah it's also our task actually to find all these trusted sources like official sources and uh, yeah it's interesting discussion also uh, in our slack because a lot of companies now started to provide access to uh, like data lake private data lake with some data but it's not uh, it's uh, mm, it's not persistent not possible to share and publish this data so god knows what will happen if company will decide to change data right yeah. it's not uh, suitable for research it's like to do some like exercise but if you want uh, to reproduce experiment probably they'll report you different data yeah. right <laughs> next time and uh, it's basically not reusable and if you want to move to reproducible science, of course, everything should be in Dataverse and it should be archived and should be well described with proper metadata and uh, links to uh, ontology description and, uh, well, to some official sources from where uh, pe people got it. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's really a big problem, I would say, with, with uh, stuff. Yeah, I mean, maybe there's, okay, we will see. I mean, like now I need to focus on, like, I mean, for my, my part, I need to focus on this V19, V19, yeah. yeah. and about this we can think, I think at least when, it, even with we extract some reliable, I mean, like, a part of those 150,000 files that, okay, there is not crap, we can do something about it, it's yeah. meaningful content, with some context, I mean, like we can verify also, if mm -hmm. it's just a couple of thousand documents that that may be very interesting. Even the small portion of that, uh, because in, you know, it's like data verification, data uh, uh, data uh, curation is also part of the process. Of course, uh, of course. And uh, to be honest, my bet was uh, when I started to crawl uh, COVID-19 data sets, my bet was, was to just to get uh, all uh, data sets from papers at some point. Okay. So if people like present a paper on conference and uh, it should be some, some data attached to actually to do some, some verification, right? So I think in most of cases we can find data in, in somewhere in GitHub because, yeah. you know, if you have experiment, you should run it somewhere. And usually GitHub is like common place, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought that uh, after we'll apply uh, the same pipeline uh, for uh, medical entities recognition to papers and to data sets, probably we can find uh, some uh, common things and uh, we can kind of predict that uh, this data is coming from this paper, let's say. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, mm, yeah, but okay. Uh, so at, at least, at least uh, we can we can find for some papers we can find kind of similar data that can be used or reused to check uh, some hypothesis. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, like, okay, that's 
tricky. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's experimental stuff, of course. So, <laughs> but we are for that, uh, to be honest, yeah. for experiments. Okay, Anton, because uh, you are so uh, so silent. Well, I was just like following everything, and on the background was checking out spacey pipelines, etc. Ah, so okay. in fact, the, the, there is like a way. I'm not sure it speeds up everything because it's all the pipelines are all you know like in one direction. They're not for mm. parallelization of models. It just simply here is the linker, here is name entity recognition, yeah. here is like MLS linkers, things like yeah. that. So maybe just like the interface, I guess, on that level. So. Uh, um, uh, I'm I'm going to to read for show sure those documentations that documentation and maybe maybe but I'm quite skeptical in the sense okay the neural I mean lightweighted but still neural network models so it's I mean it will be quite difficult to have a, like a very fast service to process every document in some milliseconds. Well, that, that's why it's called pre-processing, right? We need to pre-process ahead of time to, to get the results. So mm -hmm. we'll get that. Uh, so uh, also, Lukas, quick question. Uh, which repo are you working with? Is it the one you posted like under your account or we had already- Oh yeah, yeah, it's a is... good question because I think Lukas, you should um, verify again what went wrong with pipeline and after you should put on the Corona Y. Ah, okay. I'm pretty sure a lot of people want uh, to run it for V26 version, and uh, probably you, you will get a lot of contributors. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. 20. Uh, yeah, we, we talk, or uh, Anton, because you you are, you are late. Actually, it's yeah. like uh, it's it's my GitHub, my GitHub, but I need to upload it because uh, actually now the the newest version uh, Slava tried to run, it doesn't work. Mm. Probably just because I uploaded this in in between, uh, mm -hmm. and it wasn't finished, and it was some crap because the, it reports some some simple bug, and I presume it's just some in between version that it wasn't even meant mm -hmm. to to be able to run, uh, and then I finished. Okay. Offer, yeah, I mean. So please send up because uh, I was just checking out like the one that I found like again what you posted on Slack. And when I was just like, just like thinking of like seeing like what do we use this spacey pipeline that they just saw in documentation and this, I was able to find, like I thought we fixed that, but some of the uh, choices that were done in the initial pipeline, like for example, NLP as a variable name, was then reused. Yeah, in some yeah, cycles, and which. So uh, like there are some issues that I already know like what what should be fixed so I want to kind of you no, know, fork it's, it's old version I mean like that it, it it isn't even supposed to work because it wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like I, I I was working on this big function I stopped this in between somewhere I uploaded this to uh, um, to uh, to GitHub and then I finish the, the function. So I, I presume the function is even not supposed to, like this pipeline function, it's even not supposed yeah. to, to work because it doesn't work. Yeah, sorry yeah. for that. It, so it, so please, uh, like, you know, put on your GitHub whatever you're actually working on. So I could also just with extra eyeballs, check out maybe some of the issues like this as well. And, uh, Again, yeah. I want to profile also like these areas because like I think the step of detecting language, all of that type of stuff, I think also could slow down everything. Uh, I mean, yeah, I detected language. I, I changed, for instance, because normally mm. it is used a version of a spacey version to detect language. And mm -hmm. I, I'm using a, a, like a smaller package to do it. I mean, like written in C++, I think, mm. uh, that I also use for a project in my, uh, in my regular work. When we oh, okay, awesome. So it's much faster than yeah, yeah, I, exactly. Because it was like uh, also for multi processing purposes that I had um, many, many files coming like in the stream, and I, I, uh, the, yeah, that, that's that was uh, the, like the motivation. Uh, but still, I think that the, the biggest bottleneck is spaces, spacey yeah. models. That's mm -hmm. that for sure. It's not 
language detection because yeah. language detection you you're doing with n-grams and you have some prefix dictionary most mm -hmm. frequent words of n-grams for a, any language and depending on the statistic it, it's like it's millisecond for each file it's that's what's earlier but what is the bottom bottleneck it's those models so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, I'm I'm going to upload this for sure, like the the, the, the version that I, I'm I I I I, I work. Yeah, I'm working. and put on the coronavirus uh, yeah. affiliation. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, so uh, still some some questions or uh, remarks, comments, announcements you want to share with the rest? No, we we just need to continue and make it work. Finally, yeah. people are waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you very much uh, for today, tonight, uh, uh, for this evening. Um, and we will see uh, on, in two days on Thursday. I think that's yeah, that's, uh, yeah, a good date. Okay. So once again, thank you very much, and see you uh, next time. Yeah. See Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Okay. okay.